is up youtube back at it again with another video another moto vlog before this video i made a video the top five uh the top five things i love about my kawasaki vulcan s this video is going to be the top five things i don't like about the kawasaki vulcan s now don't get me wrong i i really love this bike it's actually kind of hard to think of things I don't like, to be honest. But, like everything in this world, it's not perfect. So, of course, there's going to be things that I won't like about it. This is based off a of stock Vulcan S. Now, for the most part, mine is stock right now, except for the grips and mirrors at the time of this video. But, let's get right to it. Number one, probably... The biggest thing I don't like about this bike is how the stock exhaust system sounds. I don't, it's, it's really quiet. I guess it's not too bad of a thing depending on who you are as a person. I know a lot of older people would mind that, I guess. I know my dad doesn't mind it. He actually prefers his bikes quiet. But me personally, I think it's too quiet. There's actually been several close calls, I guess you could say, where someone trying to merge into my lane or merge right in front of me, not knowing I was there. They saw me, but it probably would have helped if they heard me. And also, not only of how quiet it is, but when you do get on it, it does have a little bit of volume. Uh, but the exhaust sound, just the exhaust note, just doesn't sound, you know, that too appealing. A part of me kind of wishes this was a V-twin rather than a parallel twin, simply because of the sound. But, I mean, regardless, it's okay. Especially when I eventually get an exhaust for it. Now, number two is performance which is kind of funny because in my top five things that i do love about this bike performance was one of the things i did like but there is a other side of the coin to this how it performs it performs well for what it is but the thing is kawasaki took this engine from the ninja 650 they detuned it they made it to where you know the power band the torque all that kicks in a lot more in the low and mid range but I really wish they didn't detune the power. See, a, a factory Ninja 650 puts out, I believe, about 70 horses. These from the factory put out a, about 50, I believe, if I remember correctly. If I'm not mistaken. I can't help but wonder how much better this would perform, how much more it would perform if it kept that Ninja 650 power. That extra 20 horses could go a long ways with this with this bike. Keep the power curve and the gearing how it is now, but with the 70 horses that the Ninja 650 has, man, I, I feel like I feel like Kawasaki missed the mark on that. Let's face it, it has out of in this segment of bike, the mid-size urban cruisers, it has the smallest engine, if I'm correct. Just because it has a small engine doesn't mean it has to have small power, am I right? So I really wish they kept it uh, Ninja 650 power. Mm, that smell though. It smells good. Number three would have to be their uh, design choice on the lights and the mirrors. Uh, obviously, I don't have the stock mirrors on anymore, so I'll probably throw up a picture of how they look like. But the stock mirrors and then these factory uh, sick turn signals and all that, I understand why they have to be, you know, the way they are. But the rear fender is hideous. And of course, Nobody really cares for these little alien dongle things and the mirrors just seem like they seem like an afterthought to be honest This seems like they went ah shit. We need to put mirrors on here. We forgot and they just stuck it on there I mean just, just out. I mean this is how it looked I mean it's kind of I'm kind of nitpicking with that. <laughs> it's It's something I didn't like number four would have to be the gas tank size. 
Now, don't get me wrong, it does have good gas mileage. I could get mm, in and about 100 miles out of a gas tank. The gas tank uh, size is a 3.2 gallon, if I'm not mistaken. And then if I'm not mistaken, I really feel like they, they could have, you know, went up a little bit more to at least a 3.5, you know? Just uh, doing that wouldn't, wouldn't take away that much away from the design. But I also understand that, you know, it's it's not a, it's not really meant, it was not really marketed as a touring bike or anything. It's more of a mid-sized urban cruiser, like I said. So, so not just design, but weight's also a factor. And that's just the, you know, the, the style overall when it comes to these bikes. <sighs> Mother what the hell? Number five might be uh, just the motorcycle thing in general. I'm not sure. I know it's, I know it's a thing on this bike. So if it is a motorcycle thing, then you know it's not really much of a big deal. Then when it comes to uh, quote unquote not liking something on this bike. Mm -hmm. 